Hi guys, I'm Frank Galusha with EMI, a sister company of Speedway Motors, and today we're going to discuss how to properly fit yourself for a seat as well as properly mount your seat to your vehicle. So first we're going to talk about sizing. Um, simply all we have to go by is a hip dimension. Um, so what I recommend you do is find a table or something to sit on where you're going to assume the race position. So whether you're in a vehicle that you lay back in or sit upright like a sprint car, however you are, just uh, assume the race position and then have a partner measure simply across your hips, outside to outside. Um, it may be useful or helpful to get some two by fours to wedge up against your hips so we can measure across those. Um, but that's simply all we're measuring for is a hip dimension and that's, that's what our seats are sized off of. Next, you're gonna wanna obviously mount your seat once you, once you have a seat that fits you to your vehicle. And so there are a few things that we wanna note. Um, you should have a minimum of four points of contact where you fasten the seat and we strongly, strongly, strongly recommend six points of contact. So um, what you're going to have to have bare minimum is, is two fastening points uh, underneath your bottom and two at your back. Um, if you have a full containment seat like this one, it is strongly recommended to get another two uh, points to fasten upwards, you know, around the shoulder area. If you can secure the seat to the frame up, up a little higher too. Everybody's different sizes, so if you're a shorter fella, or, or lady, and, and you need to space the seat up or space the seat forward, um, make sure that you use a very large diameter spacer. Um, we just wanna be able to spread the load of, of the weight that's being distributed to those contact points. So obviously if you have a, a smaller spacer, um, it's more likely to pull through the seat. We don't want that. So use large diameter spacers. Um, on the opposite end of the bolt, we want to make sure we use large fender washers. Same principle applies. Um, we don't want to get in a violent crash and have a bolt pull through the seat, so make sure you use large fender washers for that. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on properly mounting the seat. Um, they're going to have detailed instructions that, that should be e easy to follow. Um, always, always, always follow the instructions. Now that you've got your seat securely fastened into your car, I want to make another note that pertains to your shoulder belts. So um, get the driver in the seat and we want to fasten your shoulder belts an inch below the top of your shoulders. Um, the reason being is we want to minimize belt stretch by keeping them as close to the shoulders as possible, um, but you still want to be able to come up and over the shoulders so when you tighten your belts, um, it's going to pull the body down into the seat. Now you have some helpful insights on selecting seat size and properly securing the seat to your vehicle. Go ahead and visit our website and check out our vast selection of seats at speedwaymotors.com.